My name is Sid Parker. I'm with Emergency and Disaster Prep. We manufacture as well as design many different products um, and we put together different packages. Uh, what we're looking at here is a new wind turbine made by a company out of Colorado, uh, a company by the name of JMI. So they're an American company that's uh, put this together. Some parts are imported, but it's a very affordable wind power system. Puts out as much as two kilowatts of power in uh, full wind, which is around 30, 35 miles an hour as far as peak, peak power output. Um, we also sell an array of solar generators and package them with uh, solar panels and batteries so that they're plug-and-play systems. A uh, customer can buy these, take them home, make a few basic hookups, and uh, they're ready to go. When they plug in, they stay fully charged and ready to hook into it in, in an emergency power outage. Um, one thing that's nice about our solar panel systems, if we look around back here, you can see the legs the legs that come on each of these packages, these legs are adjustable. They're adjustable so I can aim them right at the sun for whatever time of day it is. And they also, these systems come with all the adapters to hook to any rechargeable battery, whether it be an ATV battery, a car battery, a motor home, cell phone, laptop, emergency radios, any rechargeable battery this kit will hook to as well as this kit is the kit that we package with our generator packages so this is one of our nicer packages these are some of the sealed lead acid AGM batteries that we put in this particular kit here this here's another generator we sell it's called the Ecotricity it has an 1800 watt inverter in it has a 90 watt set of folding solar panels that come with it kind of a neat portable system ultra portable then we kind of go up a notch and we, we've done our, put our own little twist on this system here. What we've done is, is Xantrex makes this system here. It comes with a 51 amp hour battery in it, but at a 1500 watt peak inverter, 1330 watt continuous. But sometimes that 51 amp hour battery wasn't quite enough runtime, so we coupled it, we put a battery on top to fit right on there. We custom made cables to go down to the jumper points on back here. And turn that around so these cables will hook in back into the jumper point what that does is is that triples our runtime so now instead of just 51 amp hours I got 151 amp hours and that made it a serious solar generator you know I can keep my fridge freezer TV satellite emergency radios computer cell phone all that stuff I can keep it going for a lot longer now so just something we've done to try to improve that that package again we package it up with the same set of solar panels as the other ones. Um, so that kind of goes a little bit about our solar that we do. We also have some just raw solar panels so they can build their own kit if they'd like. Um, let's go over the water tanks. We sell four different sizes of water tanks and we actually manufacture two of the sizes. This 12-sided design on this tank you see here is our design. You see this on our shorter tank. This is our 185 gallon tank. This other tank is our 250 gallon tank. This is our design. This is our tooling. We make this. Let me give you a few of the features of this tank. Because it is a 12 sided design, that adds strength and rigidity to it. Let me grab this sample piece. You kind of see how thick. This is a sample piece out of the wall of the tank, out of these 12-sided tanks. That shows you just how thick that plastic is. We overbuild it on purpose because we live in an earthquake zone. We wanted this tank to stay, uh, stay intact if parts of the house were falling on it. So it's overbuilt to 13 pounds per gallon instead of the normal 8 pounds per gallon. And then also we have strapping points on the tank to strap it to a wall. It, again, in case of an earthquake, if the earth starts moving, the, having it strapped to the wall will keep it upright. The 250 gallon tank has two strapping points. You got a high one and then you got a low one. Again, just double strapping, keep that tank upright if the earth starts moving. We shift over to our 500 gallon tank. This is our granite 500 gallon. Um, 
It's a big round tank. It's 49 wide, 68 inches tall. Uh, a lot of people love this just because the quantity of water that it holds. The other one we also have that we don't we didn't bring to this show is a 1500 gallon tank. Popular tank again. The quantity is very attractive to people. They want to be prepared. They don't want to just have the government standard of one gallon per person for 14 days because that may not really be enough. Uh, especially people if people have stored away dehydrated foods and freeze dried foods they're going to need about four times as much water as they think because they've got to use that water to rehydrate their foods and they want to be careful that they don't eat that food raw because it'll dehydrate their system it will suck the water out of their body to still rehydrate that food so keep that in mind store plenty of water for an emergency and especially if you got freeze dried and dehydrated foods store extra to to prepare that food um, this here thing here, this is a water sock. This water sock actually comes out of the commercial water filtration industry. Um, if you just walk into a water treatment plant, you'd probably see a lot of stainless steel cylinders that are kind of shaped like this. The water runs in and out of them, comes out the other end, they add a few chemicals to it and we drink it. So this is meant for water purification. We've adapted to it, or, or found it, we use it as a pre-filter. This will filter all the way down to one micron, which is incredibly small. That will take most of the bugs, most of the parasites, uh, all the algae, all the uh, floaties or sediment or anything. So I could take the most disgusting water I can think of, you know, whether it be pond water, ditch water, canal water, standing water anywhere, as well as lake water, stream water. I can pre-filter it through this. Let's just take, make an example here. I could pre-filter that water through this sock and down into a bucket and then I can take that, take that pre-filtered water and I can dump it into my nice ceramic filter and when it seeps through the ceramic filters it goes down into my bottom bucket I've got purified drinking water out of the most disgusting water you can think of so it's a really neat system it's really inexpensive but again it gives you purified drinking water out of the worst water you can think of. In fact, this little pre-filter, even if you don't have a filter like this, let's say you have one of those water filter pumps, you know, the MSR or Katadynes or any of those. If you use this, if you put that, that tube that comes with them down into here and put this in the water, that will save you from plugging up your other water filters so fast. So it's just a neat thing and it's not very much money either. So, anyway, that's, these are kind of filters we manufacture and distribute ourselves. Some of the other things we do, we, we've got some alternative cooking uh, things as far as kerosene stoves go. Uh, we love kerosene because it's a crossover fuel. It works well to heat your house with as well as to cook with. And it's safe in these, these cookers and the kerosene heat around the corner are safe to use indoors. Okay. Crack a window, crack a door to let new oxygen into the house as you use them because you're going to burn up some oxygen, but they're safe indoors. So that's a big plus. There are some heaters with other fuels that are not so safe that you might want to stay away from as far as using them indoors. Outside, you're fine. So we do a lot with, do a lot with kerosene. Um, if we walk over here, let me show you just a few of these little items here. These come, we kind of latched onto these from the trucking industry. Because we do a lot with solar power, um, our, solar, our solar generators run off 12 volts. So these appliances, whether it be the hot water cup, the popcorn popper, the electric blanket, uh, the coffee maker, uh, there's even a crock pot, a hair dryer, anywhere, there's several of these things they operate off 12 volts as well. They're meant to plug into a power point on a truck or a car. They work very well and they can be hooked directly into our solar panels. So we could hook that right into this, directly the solar panels and power these devices right off the sun. As well as if, if the sun was down they could hook into our, any of our solar generators. So kind of a, just a neat way to uh, 
have low voltage appliances that uh, you can cook your food with, heat water with, uh, even stay warm with the uh, electric blanket. So kind of neat items that come from one industry but work with, uh, work with the solar products we sell as well. Anyway, that gives you a little bit of background on some of the main lines that we carry as a company. Uh, again, our, our solar and wind power, our water storage and purification, alternative cooking, um, and our 12-volt accessories. Those are kind of some of our main things we do. Um, we're also coming out with our own solar oven soon that I failed to mention before. Our solar oven is going to be huge. You cook your, uh, cook your Thanksgiving turkey in this thing. And so watch for that on our website. That would be a good thing to look for. But our website is edpprep.com. Again, edpprep.com. Uh, see us on there. For info, email me at sid, S-I-D, at edpprep.com.